Okay, we can start now with the second uh, talk of this session. So, uh, which will be done by uh, Frédéric Rodrigo, which is the main developer of uh, the OSMOL, the QIT assurance tool uh, that you should know about uh, OSM. And now uh, Frédéric will talk about clearance, which is also related to uh, have uh, quality data from uh, OSM data. Thank you. Yeah, um, I know about the quality on OpenStreetMap and uh, tools like uh, Osmos uh, QR or Clipwrite, you may know, uh, are validating current data in uh, OSM. Uh, here, the objective is uh, to check the changes and have a copy of the OSM data uh, under uh, quality constraint. Uh, have a copy where we know what uh, we have on it and not just a copy with a shrink sync of uh, OSM data. Uh, what we need this? Uh, I'm working on the uh, company uh, called uh, Territorio, uh, actually. Uh, and uh, we um, help uh, um, uh, municipalities, local agencies, uh, tourism agencies uh, to uh, contribute to OpenStreetMap and use the data that contributes itself to uh, OSM. We use the data to uh, make uh, printed maps uh, and also to expose the data on website as maps, but also as data. And uh, uh, we want, uh, they want to know uh, what they expose on the website uh, because there is uh, common data, but there is also uh, data linked to emergencies or um, they want to know the liability of the content they provide on their website. For example, the, the defibrillator maps on a, on a city and uh, they map uh, in OSM. Uh, they contribute themselves to the, to OSM, but uh, as they are providing to the population on the website, they want they don't want to have a direct synchronization of data from OSM, but to review the data. Uh, so uh, there is a multiple uh, strategy to make this update and the review uh, for uh, POEIs or for maps or printed maps. And so uh, we try to provide a solution to filter the data while we are getting the most update data uh, when possible. Uh, about the quality of the data in OpenStreetMap, uh, in first place, data are contributed from editors mainly, and uh, editors uh, may have a validator tools include uh, user, may use it or not, and a contributor may uh, correct and fix uh, issue of the data or not. So uh, the contribution may be of quality or not. That's the point. Uh, all the data uh, contribute to, uh, to OSM are um, as is, in fact. And as a user, as a reuser of the data, you may not expect uh, some uh, uh, rules to be respected uh, as the data you use. You have to validate the data before you use it. So the other solution is to validate the data once they're in uh, OpenStreetMap. To do this, there is tools like uh, Keepright, uh, OSM Inspector, uh, Osmos QR, for sure. Uh, the issue with this tool, it is an um, endless iteration of quality. You see an uh, issue on data, you fix it, and at the same time, other contributors change the data. Uh, and so uh, you never know the uh, current quality of the data in OSM. You can try to uh, update, to fix in loop. You are better and better and better, but you are never uh, sure of what is about is uh, actually in OSM. So uh, it may like it may look uh, complicated, but it's very simple. Um, we have a, a OpenStreetMap and a random contribution to OpenStreetMap. 
while we have a copy of OpenStreetMap as an extract, we update it with a random uh, contribution, and we try to fix the data to comply with some rules you need, we need for your uh, own usage. For example, uh, validate uh, defibrillator on, on a municipality. And when something is wrong, you fix it in OSM. Always you fix it in OSM. And then you get update, but you get random update. And you're never uh, sure of what you get in your copy. You need to always uh, fix an update. So the idea, uh, sorry. Um, the, for the validation uh, of changes, there is already tools like OSM char or other less you known tools. Uh, the, the idea is to look at the change set. Uh, so the change set contains uh, many changes in the object. Uh, as you see, uh, the change are not uh, at a point of time. A change set um, may be longer. It's not uh, at some time. You may change and after change in the same change set. So uh, it's not a simple order of changes. Uh, and you may validate a partial change set. The, the idea here of uh, the project clearance is not to get the random change, yeah. is not to get the random change set, uh, but to filter the input uh, changes to only uh, partially uh, update the extract we have. And when we see something wrong in our extract or on initial uh, OpenStreetMap, we fix it in OpenStreetMap and uh, let the update uh, still done with the filter. So uh, in the extract we have, we only uh, increase the quality uh, iteration after iteration. Uh, there is already some tools to do this. There is some uh, simple tools uh, that check uh, object by object. And uh, on a fil you, fil you filter the object uh, you are interested on. And uh, you check. And the, when the object is OK, you get the update in your uh, local database. That's a simple way to do this. A more uh, advanced uh, way to do this is uh, Losha and the um, uh, Mars uh, project under the Delight uh, data uh, uh, distributed by uh, Meta in, in the daylight distribution. The idea of the, this is more advanced. The idea is to uh, validate group of objects, not uh, like the change set, uh, but uh, locally in space. Uh, for uh, example, um, at the block size in the city or uh, connects object with a local consistency and a um, semantical consistency and geometrical consistency for sure. And to have a validation of this group uh, locally, and you validate a group or fix it in OSM and update and make a group validated. So uh, you have a partial uh, copy of the OpenStreetMap data at different point of time at different location with a local consistency. That's an important improvement of consistency. Uh, the problem with uh, the concept is very interesting, but uh, there is problem. Uh, it's not uh, open source project. Uh, it is not uh, open. The rules are not known. So uh, that's all the issue with uh, daylight uh, distribution data. There is also another project, Le Bon Tag, uh, that does something uh, object by object. Um, at this point, is it a state of the art of uh, these uh, strategies? Uh, what we want with a new project, um, we want to have uh, configurable rules, not as uh, daylight. We want to avoid the human validation. We don't want to validate each uh, object contributed by a, a contributor in OSM. Uh, we want to have rules to make a validation uh, automatic uh, as possible. And one is not possible to uh, validate automatically the changes. We want to uh, make it uh, available to human. Uh, what we want also, we want to uh, uh, validate the data. Uh, validate is mean by uh, human uh, uh, 
mark the data as valid, as uh, correct, and accept it in your local copy. But it's not uh, the main way to validate the data. To validate the data, the primary goal is to fix it directly in OpenStreetMap. And as the data is no uh, OK, we can get it, and it will pass the filter. We want also to uh, validate the data uh, by community on, uh, on the same territory, on the same thematic. Uh, as we work on, uh, on territorial, uh, we have a customer on, um, on the same area. For example, we have the municipality, we have um, emergency services, but they're all on the same territory. And so then can collaborate to validate the OSM data on the same territory. They, no, they, sorry, they do not have to validate their own um, extract uh, at own because uh, this is the same territory. As, and as they are, uh, agree on the same rules of validation or a subset of uh, rules, they can collaborate on it. And we want, uh, like uh, Losha, to have a local uh, coherence of object. Uh, that was the um, functional part. And as a technical part, we want uh, to work uh, as an OpenStreetMap prox proxy. The idea is to have uh, OpenStreetMap data updating with diff. Uh, have the query runs project, and as the output, we'll still have, we'll still have OpenStreetMap data and uh, with diff. Uh, uh, is uh, the concept we have here. Uh, there is an extract, uh, the original, uh, and an extract, a copy, and a diff with standard diff. And the, the result is still a PBF with diff we can reuse on all existing uh, projects using a standard OpenStreetMap data. But this one uh, with quality ensured. So we can uh, stream the update uh, with the diff, and we can use uh, Mapnik, we can use uh, OSRM, or we can use uh, uh, any tool we want in the output. The, the clearance project, the the idea is to have um, many projects with many rule set in the same instance and have user uh, contributing and validating the data on this uh, on their area and uh, interest and thematic interest uh, for example we we test uh, on tourism we test on uh, indoor registration and so 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 on uh, oh, it's work. We have uh, an initial uh, OSM extract. We export it in a database. We also get the diff as update, but we do not directly update the database with the diff. We keep the diff directly in the database, and we uh, check the result of applying the diff in the database. If the result is OK for the rules, we make it. If the result is not, we keep the diff, uh, we, not the diff, we keep the changes of the, on object, uh, and we are waiting new diff incoming to make it OK, and then we apply the change. Or in case of human validation, accept it anyway, we apply it. But the idea is really to wait as the OSM changes, make the sum of the diff OK, and always make change in OSM to fix. Uh, with a global idea to improve the quality on remote OSM, but uh, here in uh, our local extract. Um, what we can do for now? We can uh, write rules to check uh, tags, uh, geometry changes, uh, meta metadata on change set, and mix uh, all these things. Uh, we can uh, validate object alone, but we can also uh, validate a group of objects for local coherence. Uh, objects are accepted and applied, and changes are applied, or uh, reject and explicitly mark as rejected 
and uh, has to be re reviewed uh, or fixed in OSM. Or uh, object uh, uh, parts is not uh, really uh, just object of group object is uh, tag by tag or geometry. We can just pin uh, one tag is wrong, and why uh, we uh, see it as wrong because there is a typo because uh, before there was a name and now there is no name. It's not uh, explicitly wrong in OSM to remove a name. It may be, may be right, but we can have rules that, for example, a bakery should have a name and in, in our local copy. And if a name is removed, we want to review it or not. It's uh, the rule of the thematic project. Uh, for example, when we uh, move an object, um, when change is made by a new contributor, or when some tags uh, we explicitly uh, make in a blacklist are added or removed. Uh, uh, we make um, uh, mark it as a need to be reviewed by a, by a human or a make note. There is um, an interesting thing is um, validation. We uh, may uh, want to check the changes. For example, changes the name of a bakery. Uh, it may uh, um, open a red flag. Woohoo! We change the name of a bakery. Uh, but we uh, also want to avoid, for example, duplicate of bakery. There is a validate bakery. Sorry. There is a validate bakery. And uh, sometime after, a new uh, contributor add another bakery close to it. There is nothing wrong with the both uh, bakery, but uh, there is duplicate. And the final state is not valid because there is uh, two bakery at uh, five meters uh, aside. And that's an issue we want to check. Uh, at the final state, uh, like the two bakeries and the changes of the two bakery are all right. Uh, for now, uh, the project is uh, in development. Uh, he, it already do something, but not uh, all uh, think. So uh, for now, uh, it, it uh, already work, import and export uh, diff. We can uh, reuse the result uh, of the clearance project uh, for using other tools. There is um, a website where we can check uh, the changes to be reviewed and accept manually or see what uh, uh, reported to be fixed in OSM. There is a, a small rule set uh, for validation. There is also uh, some like of uh, API, overpass API to uh, make easier to request the database. Uh, as, we, as there is an extract with diff, we can uh, uh, set up, for example, um, an overpass uh, as, as a tools. Uh, but uh, for uh, simplify the usage, we have make uh, overpass like API with very small feature set directly uh, in the project. For now, there is uh, still missing a big part uh, that will be the next challenge is the local, the local change validation. Uh, it is not uh, implemented yet and is very uh, interesting part. If you see on the demo, for example, one of the first uh, reported thing is a uh, bakery removed and created uh, just uh, uh, aside. Uh, that is, uh, it is a uh, in progress uh, project. Uh, we have a beta instance with demo. Uh, we have already set up some project on uh, tourism, on uh, train station and other uh, project for testing and uh, having uh, feedback on it. Uh, the project is on GitHub, uh, open, to, open to everyone who uh, wants to contribute or install its own instance. Uh, the, the idea and what I explained is based on a um, large article uh, for, of the state of art I, I write before starting the project itself, and you can uh, read it. Uh, all the link uh, as available and the slide uh, on the QR code. Thank you for listening to me.
thank you, Frederic. Um, is there any questions? Yeah. So, to understand it right, uh, you um, have this project to have quality control on every uh, type of tag in a certain municipality, for example, or could you also go for a much larger area and say only look at bike parkings or something? Yeah, uh, the idea is to validate what we want. So we can write uh, rules and uh, to check changes, on to check typo, on just report changes uh, on parking. We can flag all changes on parking and have to review it and manually accept. Uh, both uh, are possible. Thank you for uh, showing this approach quite different to human validation than I know mostly from humanitarian mapping and from MSF. Um, what I didn't understand from your presentation is if you're going to push these changes back to OSM after, for example, the places that move the tags because you said that you have a local copy of the database. Uh, there is uh, um, fixing OSM is the only way to change the data here. We validate the data and only keep changes from OSM. Uh, we are not sync with OSM because we are filtering the changes, but the only way to get uh, change the data on the local extract is by uh, getting it from OSM. For example, if I, I have uh, many uh, projects and I can um, show you one of these projects. Uh, we have um, all the explanation why, why the object uh, was, uh, was here in the list. Uh, here um, is a convenience shop that was deleted and uh, then uh, uh, moved, the tag was moved to the geometry. And we have here uh, both as a deleted object and um, created object and uh, why uh, the explanation, one, uh, why we have reported it is, is because uh, we want to uh, report if it changes on a shop convenience, for example. And here we still don't have a group because the locha are not implemented. If the locha was implemented, there is a deletion in the creation of a shop convenience at the same place. So there is nothing issue with that. And once we have the locha, this will uh, pass automatically. Any more questions? Hey, thank you for the presentation. So, uh, a question: What ha uh, what happens if your debt simply starts growing? Meaning. Uh, you have so many validations that that keep iterating, never get really fixed, and uh, your sort of your filtered set just stays on your like uh, filter bench for months. Yeah, uh, that's an issue we want to address with this tool because of the previous tool. Uh, that um, that's really a, an issue, uh, and is what we want to validate uh, as possible as uh, we can data automatically and reduce the data to be validated. Uh, before, before starting this, we have a tool internally that not uh, on GitHub, uh, but a uh, lot of data happened in the list to be validated and nobody validated it. Uh, when we're starting it, we have very, very less tool, uh, very, very, very less data to check on it because we have added uh, rules to focus on the data we want to check really and not just all. And uh, as is not uh, used uh, as a, the remplacement of the previous tool we wa we wa we as, uh, we see we will, sorry, we will have a really um, less uh, human work with this one. Um, so you have the, all these different projects which have different filter lists um, and they can define their own filters. 
And do they also get their own diff feed then? So, uh, so you're keeping a huge list of potentially thousands of diffs that you're generating for each project. Did I understand that correctly? Yeah, each project has its own uh, database with own uh, diff feed and own output, yes. Uh, uh, it's, uh, the idea is uh, to have community to work on territories, so on uh, extract, to avoid have too many uh, diff and thematics. Uh, that's a part of the of a project, to have local community on local thematic, to avoid this, yes. Okay, thank you. More questions? Thank you all. Thank you.